Now this is my first time going down the seed shaky bridge since it's been restored. Kind of looking forward to this. Totally different from years ago. That's just beautiful. Now they are solid lights. I remember when uh, I was young, back in 84, I think my father took me over this bridge. And these lights were so thin. You could actually see down through the holes, right in the middle as you come over, and I used to be terrified. My father used to be there to me, uh, but like put you up my shoulders. My father being six foot two, there was no way I was going up there. Because I would be more scared. Because I was so small. But when they say it was the shaky bridge, back then it was the shake. It was so shaky. There used to be fellas now. Like when he used to bring me down to be so busy. And to be crowds and to be sweet on top of these things here. It doesn't even really shake anymore, to be honest. I mean, it used to be swaying, and then there used to be holes on, you could see straight down into the water. I used to be terrified coming over here. The lads, they are fishing. That's where we used to fish ourselves. Jumped off many a time. It's actually beautiful. And a little bit of history about this bridge is that it's not called the shaky bridge it's that's aka the shaky bridge it's james daly's bridge and james daly is how you might know james daly is when you come down knock nahini kilmore road there's a couple of factories and the first factory on the left as you come down kilmore road is james daly's the butter factory i think it's the oldest factory now in Cork Terrace. Happy New Year, lads. Have a good one. So, uh, yeah. This is really lovely. Beautiful job. Now, I think they should light up the reservoir. And when they're flying back into Cork from above, seeing this and the reservoir a little bit green just be a spectacular sight so beautiful here tonight the lads are a bit pissed below but we're all guilty of that <laughs> 